Hey, race fan, Brian Davis races, and you can too. Today, my friends, we're gonna talk about pacer bots on Zwift. How to find them, how to ride with them, ins and outs, and most importantly, why you should consider riding with pacer bots on Zwift. Before we get into that today, please, please do me a favor, smash the like button. In case you're curious, that's the thumbs up. Smash the thumb. That really helps me out, it helps out the channel, supports us in a whole lot of different ways. And by us, I mean me, working in my basement and trying to sell you some socks. Oh, by the way, if you buy Follow Hollow Alpaca socks, that also goes a long way to keeping me gainfully unemployed. So thank you. Speaking of gainfully unemployed, I've had a really lucky year. And by luck, I mean hard work and opportunity. <laughs> so, uh, I want to tell you guys a quick story before we get into today. Last year around Christmas, we walked into this little gift shop and I found this thing called a Lucky Cat. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. Uh, but the Lucky Cat is supposed to bring good luck. And it just bobs like this. And every restaurant that should have a Lucky Cat, they have a Lucky Cat. And I got one for Christmas for my family and it has been a very lucky year. Obviously, not for everybody. I didn't get to race bikes. It wasn't all perfect by any means. But for the most part, it's been pretty good. Lucky cat. That's me. All right, first here is exactly how to find the Pacer Bots. Super easy, log into Zwift. And then here is the key, my friends. All you have to do is make sure that you're on the Watopia map and you will see join your friend pace partners pop up in that screen assuming they are active at this time click on the pace partners it will give you the four options and then start your ride that's it super easy i rode the other day with my friend derek we both decided we were going to do two watts per kilo it was a great ride the reason it was a great ride hour and a half long is that i had something to pay attention to i was engaged i wanted to stay on his wheel he wanted to stay on mine we had hills we had other riders blah 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 there's just enough to be focused. So then I was on a ride the other day with a couple friends, uh, Cranks and Beans and Marky D, and they said they would like this too, this concept of just spinning your legs out on Swift without stressing out, no racing, not getting into minor little skirmishes with other people on the road, and just falling victim to testosterone tracks that are just inherently out on the road which can be a lot of fun, but some days you don't want to do that. So that's why I think the Pacer Bot is awesome. So there's an A, B, C, and D category Pacer Bot. Uh, they give you a range of watts per kilo. I am finding that Diesel Dan is very, very much a one and a half kilo rider. Uh, seems to be regardless of hills or not, but seems like all the Pacer Bot's uh, pace is a little bit on the low end of their scale, just an FYI. Okay, so I like this, because if you jump on Zwift and you don't have a plan, a plan will find you either way, whether you want to or not. So you might be comp competing with people, you might go on a hillier route than you wanted to, blah, blah, blah. So I like this because it's just enough of a, of a focus to pay attention, but not enough to get worried about it. I can listen to music, I can go upstairs and get a new battery for the camera and then catch back on because I chose a very reasonable pace. Yesterday I did a group ride with live people, with sweepers and all that stuff. I really like that, but there's not a ton of them, so it's hard to find them always in your schedule. And then uh, there's, how to put this correctly, there's a fair amount of babysitting that goes on, of people complaining about others going off the front, or people asking for sweeps or not sweeps or whatever else. And that's just... That's not necessary. That's a lot of feelings for a sport that, in my experience, has uh, less feelings. No, I'm just kidding. We're all very nice and we have lots of feelings. So some other ideas on using the Pacer Bot. Now it's new for Zwift, so they're gonna come up with new ways to use it and they're gonna uh, improve this feature, but I think it's really cool already. One way I was thinking about using it was as a race warm-up. So it keeps you honest on the pace 
and you know, we all set our minds like, oh, I'm just gonna do too much for kilo, and next thing you know, you're just going and going and going, okay, you're just going too fast, or you're going too slow, but generally speaking, you end up going too fast. All right, another game you could play with the pacer bot is to pick one that's maybe borderline just a little bit lower than your pace, and you can play a game of sort of uh, just trying to stay ahead of that, and if it catches you, you lose yourself, whatever. Uh, another thing you can do is they have uh, in Zwift develop a drop multiplier game. So as long as you keep in the bubble of the pacer, that will give you more drop points. So you can go buy cooler stuff in the drop shop. All right, and uh, of course, I'm sure eventually they're gonna come out with a personal pacing bot based on your previous performances. So I have to imagine that that's coming. This is a minimal viable product from Zwift. It's in the future works, it's not sort of beta, it's not really fully cooked at this point and they're still working on it. So I think it's awesome. Uh, so I hope you check it out. All right, one last way I thought you could use it. I got dropped yesterday because my camera died. I had to go get a uh, new battery, come back downstairs and then catch the pace back. Now, because I picked a one, one and a half watts per kilo rider, I could do that. But it was super interesting to see how long it took to bridge a gap. So I think it's kind of a neat way to judge how hard it is going to be for you to close a gap. I'm still doing the food journaling, if you're curious. It is actually starting to work. I uh, put a little more focus on laying off alcohol. Still have one or two drinks. Well, I don't know, I guess it's averaging one drink a day. Mm, whatever, whatever, don't judge. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below. How can you use trainer bots in your training? How could you develop a whole structured plan using trainer bots? All right guys, talk to you soon. Bye.